Hey everybody, Bearded Servant here. So uh, I'm taking it to the next level with my workout. Um, yeah, as you all know, I or if you don't, I live in Florida. And uh, it's not too hot in the garage in the morning, but it gets warm in here. So uh, I'm not working out in the house anymore. And uh, I haven't done a, hardly any workouts lately, but I just feel so out of shape. And I know a lot of it has to do with my, with when I got COVID, my breathing and all that. So I set up a little workout area in the garage. So I have enough space here in my garage to where I bought, I bought the foam mats and I, I, I already had one weight and I needed another and I bought a little bench and I'm gonna make an incline thing because I gotta work on my chest a lot, a lot more and my shoulders. Uh, and then I put a shelf up there. Uh, today I'm just gonna do a 20 minute uh, full body workout. Uh, found some cool ones on uh, YouTube I wanna try. And I actually was gonna bring my little fire TV out here and I might, still might, but today I'm just using my iPad. Workout number two. So I don't know the guy's YouTube page, but today I did a uh, 10 minute, my first one was a 20 minute full body. Today was 10 minute love handle. And now I'm also doing chest. And then in between chest reps, I'm doing jumping jacks or, uh, I forget what the name of it, the other thing is I'm doing, but um, but let me tell you something. Ten minutes of love handle uh, workout <laughs> kicked my butt. You can really see how out of shape you are just by trying to do a ten minute or twenty minute workout alone in your gym or in your garage with no one around and try and push yourself. Because let me tell you something. It ain't easy. When you have sweat coming down off your elbows, you know you're working. Okay, so this is my homemade incline. Just got my normal bench. I took a inch thick uh, plywood that I had from uh, where I used to work the cabinet place that was getting thrown away. I, I kind of, I grabbed some scrap and then I took another half inch piece and I anchored it to the wall here and I just leaned it against that and I've been using it twice and it works good for me. So it saved me a hundred bucks on a separate incline bench. One more test. I think I'm done for the day. Workout number two in the books. Because my legs definitely need a good workout. And then soon I'll be dragging out my big heavy bag and uh, we're gonna start doing some walking again. It's really not that heavy. I think I had gotten it down to about 25 or 27 pounds, something like that. Day three done. Today sucked. 20 minute full body and then chest and extra lower body. Day four, I really didn't want to do this today, but I'm glad I did. So I'm mixing it up a little bit. I'm doing different workouts on YouTube. Some like I'll do like three or four five minute ones and then I'll do it uh, one day I'll do a 10 minute one plus my chest and the next day I'll do 20 minute one every day I'm doing my chest but I'm using low weight I only have 20 pound dumbbells 
first rep, I do as many as I can. And I don't even count now. I, I just, in my head, I just tell myself to burn. Let it burn. And then when uh, it starts burning, I do another one or two, and then I drop it and get back on the floor or do more jumping jacks or knee lifts or toe touches or whatever. Just get the heart rate going. Um, so I'm doing total about a half hour a day uh, extra workout that plus whatever work I'm doing or and I'm not doing it every day uh, I'll switch it up uh, first day I did second day I didn't third day I did fourth day I did so I'm, uh, I'm getting there yeah so I'm not really trying to lose weight I mean uh, that'd be great uh, it's more about uh, toning what I have and getting my legs and chest uh, into better shape uh, and shoulders. I didn't work out yesterday because I was mowing and doing landscaping for, I don't know, about four hours yesterday. And uh, when I started, it was like 80 degrees. In between going from the first yard to the second, going from a small one to a half acre with like 20, 25 trees in it. So, I mean, just so much time consuming trimming and it went from 80 degrees to 101. So not counting, you know, I mean, it was, it was almost unbearable yesterday afternoon. So I figured I'd work out today, but I waited till the afternoon to do it when it was hotter out here. So, 30 minutes in here and I am sweating my behind off. But I do recall when I used to work out or walk long distances before I had COVID. And I'll give you guys an update. I'm gonna make an update video uh, soon because I'm almost a year out from when I got it. But before I got it, I never really was winded from pretty much anything. Yeah, so I'll give you a quick rundown of some of the exercises I do. I do jumping jacks. I follow uh, on YouTube, I follow Bully Juice. I've been picked up on some of his exercises and nothing with really with weights. It's all just using your body. And uh, I do a 10 minute love handle workout and then a 20 minute full body workout. And I've been switching between those. Plus I found, uh, I've been doing chest and extra toe taps and uh, uh, ankle taps and crunches just to try and slim my sides up and my stomach. But uh, so yeah, I do jumping jacks, uh, steam engines, planks, side planks on both sides, mountain climbers. I hate burpees, I don't do those. Um, and then uh, he runs through a whole bunch of this stuff over a second time, so you do it twice in the 20 minute workout, but, oh, sounds like thunder out there. But yeah, um, and then I, after I'm done with the workout there, I move on to my bench and I do incline uh, presses and I only have 20 pound weights, so I do more reps. So that's why, I, the, one of the reasons why I started this and the second reason was because I wanted to be able to have more wind in my lungs for future walks so but anyway um yeah i'll do an update on covid uh what uh what we've gone through with covid and all that stuff uh probably next month when we hit our one year mark but okay hope everyone's well take care and god bless